sports gaming universe. Hello and welcome to Sports Gaming Universe channel here on YouTube and welcome back to my Chicago Cubs franchise mode here in MLB 14, the show on the PS4. We are about to start a series in St. Louis against the rival Cardinals and it will kick off with Jake Arrieta going against Joe Kelly in game one of the three game set. We're about ready to head on out to St. Louis and Bush Stadium for the start of the series. Now, Cubs-Cardinals is one of those great matchups, one of those great rivalries in all of baseball that really gets the fans going, gets the attention of the national media as well. So we are coming in with a 6-3 and three record, sending Jake Arrieta out to the mound, and he has no record so far this season in one start. Here's our starting lineup. We gave Justin Ruggiano the day off after beasting it in the last episode here. Figured he could use a little rest. And we are leading off the game of Bonifacio going to left field rather deep, but it'll be caught ahead of the warning track there, and it's just a long fly ball out. So Kelly getting it out and looking to get out of the first inning against Castro. Starlin Castro is going to ground out, and that is your inning for the Cubs in the top of the first. To the bottom frame we go in a 3-2 count with two outs and Alan Craig is going to hit this ball to right center field. Right fielder will call this one here and Sherholtz puts it away. So the Cubs get out of the first without any damage done as well. Rizzo at the plate now in the second and oh he held up didn't he? No he says he went around that's questionable I don't think he swung the bat there. My goodness they'll ring him up though. And he's got to go sit down. So here comes Mike Olt. Has two homers on the season. A pretty good start for him. And he is looking to add on to that. Oh, he drills this one to left center field. Is it going to get out of here? It is over the fence. Just barely. Solo homer Mike Olt. And it puts the Cubs up one to nothing. Olt sure seems to be making the most of his opportunities so far this season. And he comes through again. For the Cubs to give them the first lead of the ball game quiets the crowd down as well as the Cubs get the first lead. I'm curious to see the replay here and see just how close this ball was to staying in play. According to the tail of the tape, it goes 397 feet to left center field and just barely gets over the wall. That is a mistimed jump there anyway as he was a bit late getting to the fence, but it is a 1-0 lead. You see Olt there playing some defense, is able to stop this ball from getting past him and out into the outfield, but he has no play throwing Adams out at first base. So that'll be an infield single, a pretty good effort to get a glove on it, but could not field it cleanly. So with that runner at first and one out, here is Molina, and this might be a double play. Can they turn it? Yes, they do. They double up Molina, and they're out of the inning timely double play ball and it remains a 1-0 Cubs lead after two innings. We will fast forward to the bottom of the third now. Another runner on and Carpenter at the plate. He is going to get a base hit. The pitcher Kelly who was on first will advance to second. They've got two runners now with two outs. 2-2 two -two count. Twos are wild here. This is going to be hit to Starlin Castro. He's going to have to hurry and he does not get him. Ty goes to the runner and that is an infield single. Ball was just rolling too slowly through the infield grass to make a play. As you see, Castro made a good effort, set himself and threw, but it was just not in time. So the bases are now loaded for Alan Craig. He flew out in the first. What can he do in this spot? Can he come through and produce a couple RBI for the Cardinals. Well, he hits it fairly well to center field, and oh, a little bit of an adventure, but it is put away. Arietta escapes without giving up a run despite loading the bases. So St. Louis will get nothing in the third. We go to the fourth, three, two count, two outs, strike three. Wellington Castillo is down on strikes, and the Cubs are out of their half of the fourth inning. Kelly. Doing a pretty good job there, just yielding that one solo homer. So Holiday's at the plate. He's going to take a slider. Close, but it is too low. That'll be ball four, and he has worked a walk. Very patient at bat for him. Arietta a little frustrated. 
He could not get him out there. So we've got Molina back at the plate. He hit into a double play earlier. He's going to strike out here. Not a real good game for him so far. And you can see the frustration on his face as well. Now two outs and a 3-2 count. Peralta is going to take a walk. Slider is high. Two walks in the inning now for Arietta, And that means two base runners. He just wants to finish this off. He knows he already had a bases loaded situation he had to work out of. This is going to be a high fly ball to right field. Should not be a problem. And once again, he has stranded a couple runners. This time runners at first and second to get out of an inning unscathed. So it remains one nothing Cubs after four innings complete. We go to the top of the fifth. Bonifacio at the plate. And just a little dribbler to Adams who will tag him out. And the Cardinals have got this inning one two three no problems and they will go to bat in the bottom of the fifth runner on first alan craig again gets a chance this time he's gonna get a hit no look at the play by sherholtz wow what a catch right there let's look at a replay of that shall we as the inning ends on this nice catch and he kind of does a cartwheel tumble there which is frozen in time on the replay so we go to the sixth inning, and here is Junior Lake. Some people were saying, what's going on with Junior Lake? Well, he's playing. He just hasn't done a whole lot, but he gets a base hit there despite a diving effort by the second baseman. So he's on base, and unfortunately, he gets himself picked off to end the inning. So what he did in getting on, he erases by being late getting back to the bag on the pickoff attempt. So here is Adams. He is swinging at a pitch that was well low there, but they set him up nicely. You see Arietta at 98 pitches, hoping to escape this inning. Olt has a little bit of a slow reaction, but he recovers and throws out Peralta at first. And there you go. He has indeed gotten himself through six complete with the one nothing lead intact. Can his team get him some insurance? because he's probably not coming back out to the mound. We'll have to see. Kelly's at 90 pitches himself, and that will be Castillo grounding out to second base. So he's able to get through the top of the seventh, and we'll have to see if Kelly comes back for any more action. Just eight hits total in this game through six and a half. We've got a double switch coming up for the Cubs. They are going to lift Castillo behind the plate and bring in a new pitcher and catcher combo. Blake Parker, your pitcher, and Baker will be behind the plate. So Arietta, who worked six, is not able to come out from the seventh due to pitch count, so it'll be up to Parker in this seventh inning to hold the one nothing lead intact. That's a foul ball. Why am I showing this? Because, oh, look at that fan try to grab it, but the ball boy is the winner of the baseball right there. Ha. Oh, well. Good try by the fan, but they didn't come up with it. So this is a play for Rizzo, who's going to win the race to the base and retire John Jay there, I believe. So there is two outs now, and here is a splitter that will be strike three. Carpenter goes down on strikes. So again, St. Louis not able to get anything going. Still just four hits for both teams through seven innings, but that is a nice inning of relief right there. So Bonifacio out to hit in the eighth. This is going to be a routine fly ball to right field, and the Cubs once again cannot get an insurance run. It will remain one nothing going to the bottom of the eighth as the Cardinals have just two frames here to strike. So we're going to bring in Wesley Wright, the left-hander, to work in the eighth inning he is facing left-handed hitting Adams, and Adams will strike out yet again. He is a frustrated player right there, slamming the helmet and the bat down. But there you go. So our bullpen is getting it done after the start by Arietta going six. We have two frames of nice relief pitching as well. The Sherholtz strikes out, so that sends it to the ninth. Jose Veras in to close it down. He has three saves already. He does have that 0-1-1 record, however. So let's see how this goes. Holiday is not going to hit that very far. As you see Veras getting off the mound and making the play. One down just like that. So far, so good. 
2-1 count to the next batter, Molina. He hits this pretty good to right, but Sherholtz will get back there to make the play, and the Cardinals are down to their very last out of tonight's ball game in danger of getting shut out. So Peralta, is he that last man? 1-2 count. Oh, he's going to hit this ball. It's going to find the gap in left center and go to the wall. He's going to have an extra base hit. They'll get this into the relay and keep him at second base, but Johnny Peralta... The tying run all of a sudden at second base. Okay, calm down, Varus. Let's get him. That's a base hit that gets past Rizzo at first and into right. Now we got runners at first and third. That's the potential winning run at first base. We're going to have a pinch hitter coming up. Oh, boy, things are getting dicey now. Varus, what's going on? You got those first two outs rather cleanly. The pitch from Varus, and that is fought off to right. You see the frustration by Rizzo as that goes into right field and ties the ball game. It's a single. The Cardinals, just like that, come back and tie the game, and we got issues. That hits off of Varus' foot. Olt makes the play to first, but it's not in time. Bases are loaded, and the winning run now 90 feet away. This game has deteriorated quickly. They're going to come and get Varus. Bring in James Russell, the left-hander, to face the left-handed batter, and that is Oscar Tavares. He is one for three in the game. He had a single way back in the third inning, but the fans on their feet, they've come all the way back to tie this. They're looking to win it. Oh, that could have been strike three. It caught at least half of the strike zone, but they don't give him the call. The next pitch is fouled off, so he's still alive. Oh, man, should that have been a strikeout? I don't know. It was close. And there it is. The base hit just inside the line in right field. It's a walk-off hit and a win for the Cardinals. What a comeback in the ninth inning. What a heartbreaker for the Cubs. Varis blows it. Ah, and the Cardinals finish it off. What a comeback in the ninth inning. Here's a replay. How close was this? To being a foul ball, well, it was definitely fair. There was no controversy there, but it hugged the line. And the Cardinals win the game with a walk-off single with the bases loaded. Oh, man. Drama in the ninth inning. If we just could have pushed home an insurance run, things might have been different. But we go down with a heartbreaking loss. Pat Neshek, who came in in relief there gets the win Varus the loss his second of the season all right next game out let's see if we can regroup and we do Jeff Samarja goes out there and gets his second win so he's got a nice start to the season and the rubber match will go to the Cardinals so they take the series two games to one as Travis Wood will be your loser so next up we've got a two game set interleague play against the New York Yankees looking forward to that we'll see you next time guys Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and join the SGU team. Like the SGU Facebook page. Follow us on Twitter. Go ahead and subscribe to SGU here on YouTube so you don't miss daily videos. And last but not least, follow us on Twitch for live streaming goodness.